that was the only time as a black man in America that I ever felt free was the five hours that I was in the shootout. Many black people in Los Angeles had ran out of hope and were tired of waiting on change. Stick them up, motherfucker. We come from what's ours. We, uh, we, the Negro people, down here have gotten completely fed up. And you know what they gonna do tonight? They're after the white people. In early 60s, black people there were very little evidence on television for black people. The only time you ever saw black people actually was in these demonstrations and being beat up. And I ain't gonna get lynched. I'm not taking an ass kicking. I'm not getting put under arrest or none of that shit. We up here in the Los Angeles area were not turning that other cheek. There's a consciousness that was around and a lot of people was looking for a solution. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense calls upon the American people in general and the black people in particular to take careful note of the racist police agencies throughout the country in intensifying the terror, brutality, murder, and repression of black people. Every person who ever visited Los Angeles thought that the LAPD were like a spinoff of the Ku Klux Klan. The LAPD, the sheriff, the highway patrol, we put all of them on the run. Black Panthers were going around saying they were going to kill police officers. They were carrying guns and they were carrying uh, automatic weapons and uh, they were going to kill us. They didn't come in as friends. They didn't come in uh, saying we have an arrest warrant or we're coming in under the, the auspices of the law. They battered the door in and came in shooting and they got shot. FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover today asserted that of the black extremist groups, the Black Panthers represent the greatest internal threat to the nation. Hoover said the Panthers have perpetrated numerous assaults on police and have engaged in violent confrontations throughout the country. At the University of California at Los Angeles, two Black Panthers were shot to death. We have a black man that's dead, murdered by pigs. This wasn't some casual event that happened accidentally when tempers flared. This is a planned assassination of leaders of the Black Panther Party for a very specific reason. Because as J. Edgar Hoover had said, uh, we were the greatest threat and he was going to eliminate that threat. There were more killings and more vicious killing in Los Angeles because the LAPD recognized and responded to what they saw as a threat. I said, we need, we're not going to be getting this gun down like this no more. We're riding along with the idea that if the police stop us, it's going to be a shootout. Black Panthers used submachine guns. They got guns, we got guns. It didn't matter because you're not going to cross this line, not with me. I grew up with a gun in my hand. This nationwide war on law officers must be discovered and punished before the fabric of this nation is seriously damaged or destroyed. We can romanticize the Black Panther Party and, and, and the, 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 the big time leaders can talk about the breakfast program and all that. Yeah, it's all good. But when you get down to it, police wanted to kill us and we was trying to kill them. It's just that simple. That's what the Black Panther Party was. So anytime you come to kill somebody, you got to bring ass to take ass. And uh, you have to expect them to fight back. And that's what we did. And we would do nothing no more than any other human being would do. And we fought back to defend ourselves. And that's what we was all about. So uh, I don't feel bad about it at all. I feel good about it. The war against the Panthers counterinsurgency right across the country. Nothing like it ever before in American history. By the early 1970s, another chapter in black history had been brought to a bloody end.